Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just want to go through the Clip Geo Shader. So the Clip Geo Shader makes a shape, a clipping shape. Uh, clipping shape clips geometry from any shape that intersects with it. So in this example, we've got a Clip Geo Shader assigned to the sphere. And you can see the effect it's having on the cube. You can use the Clip Geo Shader to create some very interesting effects, such as cross section here, a car or a building. Maybe you want to use it to create some Lego growing. So in this case, the clip show shader is assigned to a cube that's grouped to the camera and animated in the Y direction. And in this example, we're using it to reveal the inside of this Lego car. Okay, so if we go to the scene here, and I'm going to create a box. Position it in front of the car, like so. And if we go into our slate editor and create a clip geo shader there, and assign it to the cube. Now, if we open up the Arnold render view window, we can see that the Clip Geo Shader is clipping the front of the car, but it's also clipping the floor plane, which is what we don't want. So there's a way to get around that, and that's via trace sets. So if we select the floor plane and create an Arnold properties for that, and under general properties, we have trace sets. I've already given it a name here, Objects Not to Clip. However, we also need to add that to the Clip Geo Shader. So I'm just going to copy that text, uh, go to the tree set of the Clip Geo Shader and paste it in there. And then make sure to disable inclusive because we don't want it to render. And there you go. So now we're getting Clip Geo Shader clipping just the car and not plane. So that's the clip shader in Max Away. Thanks for watching. Bye.